see the banner? It's a coon. Wait, what? What are you doing here? You should be in Arbor. Name's Firestorm. Welcome back to Banner Saga. So last time we managed to arrive a Bolt's Guard and Bellow is coming. So we need to prepare to defend. I don't know what's gonna happen in this episode. So let's just get right into it. Our morale is kind of low, but we can't see. Chapter 7. The Slayer and the Slain. The Slayer and the Slain. I think this is the final chapter. Borsgard. Finally, you arrive at Borsgard, where the walls stretch for miles in both directions are and are litter littered with the bodies of rage, fall and main. Excuse the mess, shouts a voice from above the gates. These two, I've seen these two somewhere. Uh, I've seen a lot of these two when, <laughs> when you look up thing, Banner Saga. Seems like it's going to be a really interesting card. Looking up, you spy a striking vole, his face rich with matted black hair. Movement at the gate catches your eyes. Dredge are still banging on the gate doors. Without luck, let us join in. You shout. Gone of two bushes past, I won't be hearing the end of this for a while, he says before yelling. Open up, Bolver. They dug me out of Ray Vic. You hear a loud echoing on the winds as the door creak. A dozen armed men led by a massive vow make quick work of the dredge and usher you into the sea. Yeah, this guy seems like an insane, insane vow. You may be interested to know they bought a mender. You didn't go get a mender. What's the meat? The meat. <laughs> kind of two shrugs apologetically. I guess the mender will do. Either we've got a chance now or we're completely screwed. Wait, does he know about the dredge? Brook, we've come a long ways, some as far as Cogger. Are you in charge here? In charge of the governor, I suppose. Listen, you have something to tell him, say it now, otherwise you're on your own. I don't care where you go, but stirring up trouble is probably the only reason you'll see me again. It won't be to talk. Mender, come along, we're going to see the governor. Bolverk and Gandalf too live with Iwin, who goes willingly, signaling that he's fine. Man, this is just like Frostfell all over again. This is nothing like Frostfell. The one in Burskin is probably leading the ravens. Ravens? Is that good or bad? It depends on who they're working for. Hopefully it really is the governor and not someone trying to strong harm their way into his seat. I guess we wait for Highwind to tell us if he comes back. I'm not worried about Highwind. I'm worried about the army of refugees we brought who don't belong here. Probably right, nobody ever uttered a nice thing about Boris Guard. So what now? We ought to go to the docks and see what our options are, in case we need to leave quickly. Did you notice the city guards when we came in? What guards? I have a feeling the ravens are all they've got left, something serious went down. And when Belwar gets here, he's going to walk right through this place without even breaking his stride. Let's keep that to ourselves for now. So the docks. Yeah, let's see, maybe this place is like, can we take like boats, get the hell out of here? Uh, yeah, hey, yo, just take some boats, get the heck out of here. First of all, I would like to go to market. It is expensive. That's expensive as heck. Like, boy, 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 nah, 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 nah. That's expensive. When you get to the docks, your heart sinks. Not a long ship to be seen, aside from wrecks. Okay. Bodies float in the water, buildings are trash and boarded up. What happened here? Murmurs the lad. They've, they're all gone, says Ivan, approaching alone. I see you had the same thought as me. Okay, now how the fuck do we get out of here? Ivan, you're okay. I'm fine. It wasn't a lie. The governor is here. He's in hiding. Why? Since the race started appearing, anyone with a ship and a half a week left long ago. Damn, people can't live by food. Food is scarce. The markets are bare. Borsgard is a fire keg waiting for someone to tip it over. So the governor's paying the ravens to protect him against his own people. And keep the pace, so to speak, is more like a mass massacre. Anytime there's a hint of an uprising. Can't read, man. Where does that leave us? I promise him the Mendes protection and harboring. I don't think it's very popular there. They are going to start tearing this place down to build new ships. We can ride the Ormsa uh, River all the way to the capital. Yeah, 
that's the plan I was thinking about. Leaving anyone perfectly good, perfectly good city behind. How long will it take to build new ships? Hold on. What happens to the people living in Borsgar? It's best I could do a lot. He thought it could take as long as a month. You don't usually make ships out of scrap lumber. As soon as people figure out what's going on, there's going to be riots in the street. A month? Why bother? Oh, we'll be here within the week, if not sooner. I'm open to suggestions. Gods be damned, there is no end to this. I have a rose in frustration leaving you standing by the dog. So it gives you a worried look before chasing after him. Ivan, what do we do about Belwar? Ivan says nothing for a moment. I don't know. Uh, nobody knows where. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta figure out what's going on. Like, damn, look at all that trashed. Mm, still resting ground. There's a map. It's so hard to see. It's no resting ground. I wanna buy thing, but it's so expensive. One Reno. Damn it, man. Maybe like that's the best I can do. Three days worth. Let's talk to Ivor. You find Ivor standing on the city walls, overlooking the fields outside. Rich are keeping their distance, but continue to gather. Yeah, they're they're, they're preparing. Or Belmore when he's come when he comes. I'm okay, Rook. However, cuts you off before you can say anything. You know he's been through worse. Just feels like someone should cut us a break every now and then. If you want to be standing a month from now, we're going to have to be prepared. Uh, what did you have in mind? First off, our clans may need a place to stay. They will get torn to pieces out in the streets. I'll keep an eye on the dredge up here. If they break through the walls, we're done for, so we'll have to keep them back. Could always use a hand with that. We need to know who's controlling what and make sure we get our card. Food's going to become scarce. Exactly, in the market. It was pretty expensive. And when they start building those ships, we're going to have to keep people away. What a damn mess. I'll do what I can. We need to find more food. More supplies. Haver explains, I'm leading attacks with Ivan every time the dredge get too close to the gates. Listen, we're going to lose fighters and Val every day like this. I don't need to tell you what happens if nobody's manning this wall. We could always use help. Consider what to want to do, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take full day. Find a safe place for the caravan to stay, join Ivan defending the walls, find a source of supplies. And supplies, man. Find a source for supplies. Let's do that. I checked around, Olive tells you, and nobody has food, or they won't part it with they won't part with it for a fair price. And our medicine has been gone for days. They're either urging the pricer or it's just plain gone. She doesn't say it, but you can tell this is going to be a serious problem. Shake down the places that seem to be holding out, tell the caravan to survey shit. See what they know, track down the ravens. You find a massive lead of the ravens along the docks where they're doing their best to keep a growing number of people in check while the ports are being constructed. You question him about food supplies. You should approach your own, he says. I can't go giving out to every person in Borisgard. I'd kill every last person in this city for some good meat, though. This place has been dry for weeks. Mm. Can't go giving him our meat, we need our supplies. Remind him the innocent people who stop all the laughs in your face looking for mercy from me. He, I'll rip your head off on the spot if it were part of the contract. You take the hint and leave the dogs more worried than before and with nothing to show for it. Damn. Just lost our day. Huh? Uh, let's check our mark. Talk with Ivor again. Ivor points out that there's a lot of them, they're getting braver, he says. We lost a fair number of fighters since yesterday. We could use help if there's anybody left to defend the walls. Find a safe place for the caravan to sit. The entire caravan is spread out in the streets where they're attacking, attracting attention. We could look for a public house, such as a lead like Fosfo. You figure that if you made camp in the open, you could at least keep everyone together. Or with people leaving the city recently, there might be abandoned houses you could squat in. 
Make camp in an open space, keeping everyone together. Make camp in an open space, keeping everyone together. We've done well sticking together before, we don't need to change things now. Your caravan sets up a, a camp as normal and goes about their guard patrols as usual. Hopefully it keeps the people working together in their element. Yeah. Got a caravan set up. Minus fall, minus fighters. Yo, 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 yo. They're here. We have no supplies. This is bad, says Ivan. As Ivor points across the battlefield, aside from the fact that we're up to our necks in rage, a stone singer showed up. We've been losing wars left and right. If we don't deal with it, this wall is gonna come down by the end of the day. One of your clansmen from the guards finds you. We had a problem, he says. Looters came around and scattered a bunch of people, raided some supplies, some wounded, others we can't find. If you could find a time, he leaves it there and runs back into town. Dad, there's a riot at the docks. Salette runs up to you out of breath. They're trying to smash up the boats. When you calm her down, she says the ravens are there, but she's worried that things could get out of hand. Nah, the ravens are there, man. We gotta defend. We gotta defend. That stone thing is going to wreak havoc on us if you don't take care of it. Havoc tells you this will be our fight, but we've got to take it down. You ready? Prepare yourself. Yeah, we gotta take out the stone singer. Like, the ravens are there. The ravens can take care of it. They have to be dude, like, yeah. Like, do your job, man. Want to take a gun. Ready for battle. Like, legit. They got the big dude there. They can take care of it. There's no, there's no need for me to get over there. Like, there's a stone singer here, man. I have to take care of that. Okay, so... Five. Five dudes. Five dudes. Five dudes. No, that, that's good, that's good. Wait, this guy. So if I move here, it's gonna be out of range. Yep, right here. Okay, now I'm gonna start using my brain. No, actually, it's not gonna be out of range. Yeah. Oh no, reinforcements. Already. Freaking hate that. Let's go, let's move in Ivor. Straight up. Boom. Yeah. And so singers are just that annoying, huh? they can just go for reinforcements easily. Arc lighting. Okay, please don't hear our teammates, please. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, we need our mender to be doing some cool ass stuff. That's stupendous amount of damage, okay. But he has a lot, a lot of armor. I need to take out that this this guy. Boom. It's moving away. Now he has to move in closer. Deflect it. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's hope the stone singer doesn't do much damage, though. Never take these guys out. Collateral. No Krumor. Oh, man. Boom. Let's go, both of them. That's what I like to see. Okay, no more damage. Okay, nice, not much damage. That's what I like to see. 
bloody flare. His armor is gonna beat down. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not that much. How much his armor? I like to see that. As long as we can keep him from holding enforcements, I think that should be really good strategy. Take these guys are around. Okay, ever doing his nitty gritty stuff. Low power. Armor. Okay, it's calling. It's calling. Arc lighting. Please take him out. Nice, he's gonna do only four damage. Okay, not that much. Cool. Get this guy. Hopefully. Let's go. Did he just call reinforcements? Both of them were out. Okay, cool. I didn't even notice that. Pretty cool. Full power. Yes, one. Boom. No armor. Moving closer. Only moving closer. This one will power and it's gone. One shot. Let's come on. Oh, it's getting down, man. Took out the Stone Singer, but I feel like there's going to be more Stone Singers because Belhamor is, Belhamor is really close. I feel like it's really close. There's a lot of edge outside now. Hmm. Mm hmm. There's big dudes. You see, one, two. So many Stone Singers are gonna start appearing now. We are out of supplies. Yep. Completely out. This morning says I uh, I saw him bellowers here. I think it won't be long now. Edwin Lin silently on his staff nearby. Consider what to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take a full day. Oh, uh, let's check the rides. So they're not finished. When you get down to the docks, is pandemonium. Few work on the ship now as the ravens send over bodies of people while a huge crowd rose in anger. Bovers' axes are covered in blood. What happened? You shout, pushing your way through the rioters. What do you think would happen? Responds Bover coolly. Didn't take them long to figure out we were building ships right under their noses and they can't have one. You go on and lend a hand or just stand around? Get up on the roof and fire arrows from the ground. Your head tells you this is a very wrong, but you push the thought aside and start taking out visible targets. One falls, then two, three, four. Once they notice, the rioters are terrified that any of them could be sniped next and scatter. Nice work, shouts over. We'll call you the next time we get a ride down here. Okay. You sit in a in quiet for a long time, just trying to catch your breath. You've killed before, but not like this. Yeah. Like if Bellers here, we gotta get ourselves done moving. However, you begin. Can we really keep this up? However, looks like he hasn't slept for days. We lost a lot of fighters, he mumbles. The weight of the situation is crashing. Then from far in the distance you hear a horn. Reg, don't use horns. It occurs to you. Ivan appears at your suggest as a long caravan of people come into view. Dredge turning to attack them. Who is that? You ask. It can't be, says Ivan. He runs towards the gate shouting, You see their banner? It's a coon. As you wonder how they got here, here the gates are heaved open and you charge on to the battlefield clearing a path through the dredge. Wait, what? What are you doing here? You should be in arbor. 
this game. Get all our fighters in. Tacked in, you know. Tacked in. Okay. Armor break, perhaps. Yep, armor break. Boom. Minus four, baby. Minus four. That's what I like to see. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 not a good idea. Nice, yeah, moving closer, that's what I want. Q. Guard. We don't have a stone singer this time, so... Shouldn't be worried too much about that. Just use arc lighting. Now, that, that's some support, like... Now, question is, they're coming here. Wagner, but do they? Is it Wagner? Hakun, Hakun, Hakun. <laughs> Wagner said, Hakun. They come here. Will they have supplies? That's my question. Cause we're freaking starving now. Like straight up starving. Mm. Stop breaking armor. Okay, minus three. This guy needs to go. Boom. We know. This guy is gonna do some damage. This is him, huh? Nope. But since we gotta move from here, let's just go and do some armor damage. That was some nice collage. Oh, yeah, keep piling yourselves up. That's definitely a good decision. Let's do some damage here. Because I don't want next round for him to be doing crazy amounts of damage to us. Mm. Yep. Please, please do collateral on your friends. No, not on our teammates. On them. Five, five. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Bloody flail. Can you take him off? No. But that was close. Mm. Out. Damn. I can use one more and just take this guy out straight up. So it's three remaining. Huh? I have this giant dude. How much damage does he do? Okay. Okay. One shot. Destroying his bombs. Uh, armor break. Damn. Two wheel power. Two good damage, come on. He man is teaming. Armor break. Nice, some collateral. Uh, eight. We won't be doing that much damage now. Now this slinger right here. This is the annoying fool. 
And we can just go here to the side, take him out. Damn! What's this thing? Four. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Now let's see. Let's go meet up with a cool. Lost a lot, a lot of people, and we can't rest. <laughs> ah, so many injured. I don't know. I feel like I have like one. Aside from these two that are here, probably two more that are not injured. Two more people in our party. <laughs> it's insane. Jun Junu, she's with them. I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again, Evwin. She smiles and they embrace. Evwin is completely taken back as though he doesn't dare believe she's real. I'm sorry I couldn't make it to sing home. I ran into problems. Problems, <coughs> problems is putting it lightly. There's a mile wide canyon practically splitting the world in two over those hills. Couldn't find a place to cross. Worse, stretch are practically falling out for Failing out of it like blood from a wound. They're not coming from the north anymore. They're everywhere. We noticed. Glad to see you made it out alive, Yagor. I take it the others didn't. Nakun becomes quiet and he motions toward Juno. She got across somehow. Found her out cold for a second time since leaving Strand. We need every axe we can get right now. Bellower is here. God be damned. I thought I was free of that menace. I will deal with Bellower. Damn, what you gonna do? Come on, no need to tempt, tempt him by standing out here. Damn, okay. Right, what you gonna do?